Okay, so if I have a circle and I draw any old line from one point on a circle to another point on the circle, then this line is called a chord. So this is a chord, C-H-O-R-D. Now, the useful bit of information about a chord is that if you find the midpoint between the two endpoints, so let's call that M, then the negative reciprocal, well, rather the perpendicular line that travels through M, will always travel through the centre of the circle, no matter what chord we have. Now, the special type of chord is obviously the diameter, okay? So that's the special chord that travels through the centre of the circle. But any old chord, if you found that midpoint and you found the perpendicular line going through M, then that also travels through the centre of the circle. And you can use this information to your advantage. So let's say we had a problem where we have these two points and the y-axis. And let's say these two points are um, minus 5, 2 and let's say minus 3, 6. And let's also say that we know that the centre of the circle that these two points are on lies somewhere on the y-axis. Okay? Now, if we go through, well, let's just, let's draw this uh, part of this circle so you can kind of visualise what we mean. So this circle goes around this point. And we need to find the coordinates of the centre. So, if we look at this chord, then there's a couple of things that we want to know. First of all, we want to be able to find the midpoint. Because ultimately, we want to find the perpendicular bisector that travels through this point and which will tell us where we are on the y-axis. So we need to find the midpoint. So we've got minus 5, 2 and minus 3, 6. So minus 5, take away 3 over 2. And we've got uh, 2 plus 6 over 2. So the midpoint is minus 4, 4. Okay? So that's the midpoint that we have here. Now in order to find the perpendicular bisector, we're also going to have to know the gradient of that chord. So the gradient, M, is the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. So we have minus 4 in the numerator, and we have minus 5 plus 3, so minus 2, in the denominator. And minus 4 divided by minus 2 is 2. So we know that the gradient of the chord is 2. So the gradient of the perpendicular bisector would be minus 1 half, because it must be the negative reciprocal. So y is equal to minus 1 half x plus a constant c. And this is the equation of this line This normal, if you will, and we need to work out the value of c by substituting in the coordinates of the midpoint, minus 4, 4. So when y is 4 and x is minus 4, what we have is 4 is equal to 2 plus c, so c must be equal to 2. So the equation of this line is y is equal to minus one half x plus two, and I know that two is the um, point, the intersection point, the y-intercept. 
So the intersection point with the y-axis. So this has the coordinates of 2. So we can see just from my graph that really um, my diagram is a little inept because actually these two points should be on the same scale, the same height. Okay, so we're probably looking something more like here are these two points and there's the right angle and that's the point that is the centre on the y-axis. Okay? So something like that. So my diagram's a little bit off, but that's alright. It allowed me to still solve the problem as was required. So the centre of the circle has the coordinates 0, 2. And that's how we can use a chord to identify the coordinates of the centre of the circle. In the next video, in order to do that in general, if you didn't, if the point, the centre of the circle, sorry, wasn't on the y-axis, then we need another point, and that's what we're going to look at in the next video.